assalamu alaikum everyone everyone uh, as you all are aware now there is a corporate tax in the uae first time recently just two days ago government has issued federal decree law number 47 of 2022 taxation of corporations and businesses in this video we are going to take overview what this dec federal decree law number 47 talks about i made a comprehensive summary of all the provisions uh, maximum i try to cover maximum provisions uh, we will discuss uh, crucial points in the federal decree law number 47 in this video well, let's start friends uh, before starting corporate tax uh, let's talk about tax what is tax in this world there is two kind of taxation one is direct tax second one is indirect tax what is the difference between direct tax and indirect tax direct tax is we pay out of our pocket indirect tax we don't pay out of our pocket somebody else pay we deposit that tax to the government like direct tax here corporate tax will come corporate tax what it is charged on our profit of the business and we pay out of our pocket that tax amount but in the indirect tax that is vat what we do we collect tax from our customers and pay deposit those collected tax to the government that's why it called indirect tax because we are not paying vat out of our own pocket but in case of corporate tax we are going to pay out of our own pocket okay now we will talk about scope and applicability who who are the taxable person under the corporate tax there are mainly two broad categories resident person and non resident person resident person you all ue companies other juridical person will come or if uh, uh, incorporated in the ue and effectively manage and control in the ue and natural person individual who are conducting who are doing business activity in the uae as specified in a cabinet decision cabinet decision is about to launch we are waiting for the cabinet decision still and in case of non resident person any non resident juridical person juridical person means companies mainly who are the incorporated one okay have a permanent establishment in the uae what is a permanent establishment we will talk about this in detail in the coming in any future videos uh, like they have uh, any set of office here in the uae okay and juridical person established in a uae free zone are also within the scope of corporate tax as taxable person and will need to comply with the requirements set out in the corporate tax law however free zone person that meet the conditions to be considered a qualifying free zone person can benefit from the corporate tax rate at the 0% of their qualifying income as you know free zones can will still enjoy 0% corporate tax on the qualifying income what are the qualifying income we will see in details uh like they have to fulfill certain conditions to claim 0% corporate tax a non resident person that do not have a permanent establishment in the uae or that earn uae sourced income that is not related to their permanent establishment may be subject to the withholding tax that is right now at 0% government can increase this 0% to any percentage in the future like withholding tax we can say in india we call it tax deducted at source tds like this government will government can tell to hold some taxes for such kind of companies who are the exempt from the corporate tax there are certain categories of companies who are the exempted from the paying corporate tax in the uae uh, those are mainly government entities government controlled entities a person in engaged in a extraction business non extractive natural resource business 
क्वालिफाइंग पब्लिक बेनिफिट एंटिटीज पब्लिक और प्राइवेट पेंशन और सोशल सिक्योरिटी फंड क्वालिफाइंग इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड दिस ऑल आर एग्जाम पर्सन अंडर कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स सब्जेक्ट टू दर्टेन अप्रूवल सर्टेन कंडीशन नाउ यू आई कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स रिजीम विल बी बिकम इफेक्टिव ऑन और आफ्टर फाइनेंशियल ईयर स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एज पर आर्टिकल नंबर फोर्टी एट टैक्स पेयर विल हैव टू फाइल कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स रिटर्न सेटल कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स लाइबिलिटी विद इन नाइन मंथ फ्रॉम द एंड ऑफ रेलिवेंट टैक्स पीरियड वेन एट वट वेन एवर यू आर फाइनेंशियल ईयर विल एंड फ्रॉम दैट गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग नाइन मंथ टू फाइल कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स रिटर्न एंड पे योर कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स ड्यूज लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड this uh, dates financial year and uh, with this example if you are financial year starting from january to december your first effective tax period will be starting from 1st january 2024 if your financial year is april to march then your first tax period will be up First will start from first April twenty four. If you are following July to June financial year, then your corporate tax year will start from first July twenty twenty three. So, so guys, please plan your business plan your financial year accordingly. Right now, as you know, in the UAE, nobody is preparing proper books of accounts. Nobody is doing. audits do but uh, audits of books of accounts and nobody is submitting their books of accounts to any government authorities uh, some are uh, submitting like dmcc asking uh, uh, financial auditor financials some free zones authority asking and some other authorities are also asking for some uh, one or two reasons uh, other than those no most of mostly companies are not preparing not doing audit of their financial statement so guys plan accordingly whatever is more beneficial to you but once you planned here after that you should uh, strictly follow that you can change your accounting policies but there should be a reasonable reason to change your accounting policy for your financial years that we will discuss later on the basis of if government is going to issue any circular any notification in the future what uh, what are the exempt income on what kind of incomes there will be no corporate tax still our company is the ue mainland and there is a certain kind of income they are will they will not be subject to the corporate tax okay uh, the, the following income and related expenditure and related expenditure shall not be taken into account in determining taxable income dividend and other profit distributions received from ue incorporated and resident legal person thus domestic dividend are exempt without any condition or and dividend and other profit distribution received from a participating interest in a foreign juridical person see further information below okay dividend and other profits received from participating in a foreign juridical person what are the participating interest uh, we can see participant interest is here mentioned if in any company we are owning in any foreign company we are owning 5% or greater ownership right shareholding and uh, that holding is intent to be to hold at least 12 months and such juridical person are subject to 9 per minimum 9% corporate tax in that respective country then we will call it participating interest if we have any participating interest in any foreign company then their dividend and other profit distribution will also be exempt in ua certain other income capital gain foreign exchange gain loss impairment gain loss what are the impairment gain loss we will discuss that in uh, coming videos okay uh, there is accounting standard 28 uh in india on this impairment loss and there are some ifrs also on this from a participating interest 
If we have a participant interest in foreign company, then their capital gain, foreign exchange gain loss, impairment gain loss will also be exempt. Income from a foreign branch or permanent establishment where an election is made to claim foreign permanent establishment exemptions. And foreign branch or permanent establishment where is an election is made to claim foreign permanent establishment. Income derived by a NR person from operating NR uh, from operating aircrafts or ships in international transportation that meet the condition. International aircraft like here, uh, you know, Qatar Airways and uh, the England Airways, Indian Air India, like this kind of uh, aircraft operating NRs companies are working uh, in UAE and uh, shipping company as well. They will be their income will be exempt in uh, under corporate tax in UAE. Participant in interest already explained. And calculation of corporate tax payable and deductions. The starting point for calculation of corporate tax payable will be accounting net income, net profit. Okay, whatever accounting profit coming in our trial balance, our profit and loss account. Okay, there we have to do some adjustment. Then we will we will reach up to a taxable income. On that taxable income, if it is up to three seventy five thousand, then there will be zero percent tax. If more than three seventy five thousand, then up to that excess amount we have to pay nine percent tax. This three seventy five thousand amount is not described under this decree law number decree law. But we are expecting cabinet decision. In that cabinet decision, it will be mentioned. Following other expenses that will not be deductible for tax purpose. What kind of expenditure will not be allowed in profit and loss in calculating taxable income? If this is already included in our uh, accounting profit, we have to add back donations, grants, and gift made to an entity that is not a qualifying public benefit entity fine and penalties other than amount awarded as compensation compensation for damage or breach of contract bribes if we paid any bribes to anyone or other illicit payments that are will that will not be allowed as expenditure dividend profit distribution or benefit of a similar nature because you know dividends and profit distribution are coming after the payment of the tax amount withdrawn by the business owners uh, shareholders directors is not salary corporate tax imposed tax is okay obviously tax will not be allowed as a calculating taxable income input vat if there is input vat we claimed on any kind of uh, raw material any kind of input and uh, any kind of fixed asset those will not be allowed as a deduction again tax on income imposed on the tax person outside the state like uh, they have some branches in india they pay tax in the, uh, there in india that tax will not be allowed to be as a deduction in ue corporate tax such other expenditure as explained in the decision issued by the cabinet we are waiting for the cabinet it. Falling expenses will be allowed as deduction up to a prescribed limit. These kind of expenditure, some kind of expenditure are there. They, they limit some cap. We can claim up to that limit only. Uh, for entertainment expenditure, maximum we can claim up to 50%. Expenses incurred to entertain customer, shareholder, supplier, other business partner will be allowed as deduction up to 50%. Interest payment, we can claim maximum interest expenditure up to 30% of EBITDA. EBITDA, earning before interest tax depreciation and amortization as adjusted for corporate tax purpose. For banks and insurance provider, these limits will not apply. Excess interest paid and not allowed deduct due to limita limitation Limitation can be carried carried forward and claim reduction up to 10 years. This is independent of loss carry forward provision. Further, if loan is availed from a related party, 
no interest deduction is allowed if such loan is utilized for dividend payments and capital contribution obviously dividend payment they are doing and they are doing uh, some kind of capital contribution interest on such fund will not be allowed if taken from the related parties calculation mechanism for the corporate tax liability will be as under first our accounting net profit will come okay and we will do some adjustment like uh, we will disallow 50% of the entertainment expenditure we will cap our interest expenditure and we will uh, disallow such a kind of uh, non eligible expenditure and we will finally reach up uh, final reach uh, taxable income uh, up to 370 uh, 375000 we will charge 0% tax uh, above than those we will charge 9% then we will take total a plus b and uh, for if we paid any tax in the foreign country then we will deduct that and we will finally pay corporate tax entities now talk about free zone companies qualifying free zone person article 18 entities established in a free zone that meet the conditions to benefit from free zone corporate tax regime qualifying free zone person will be subject to the UAE corporate tax at the following rates. If the, the on qualifying income, 0% corporate tax will be applicable. Other income, 9% corporate tax will be applicable. Corporate tax will be applicable to the companies and branches that are registered in a free zone, referred to as free zone person. A qualifying free zone person is a free zone person that meet all of the following condition. Like, Maintain educate substance in the state, derive qualifying income as specified in the cab cabinet decision, has not elected to be subject to corporate tax, comply with article 34 and 55 of this decree law. Transfer pricing provisions they are going to apply. If these four conditions are satisfying, they will be qualifying free zone person and their income will be qualifying income then. They have to follow transfer pricing provision. This is going to be huge uh, in UA transfer pricing. Transfer pricing. Uh, on transfer pricing, I already shared one video in my YouTube channel. You people all can uh, see. Uh, I already shared one detailed video on this. You people can check this. There is a video. Okay, you people can watch this video on transfer pricing. Okay, let's discuss what corporate tax specifically saying about transfer pricing. Transfer pricing regulation will apply to UE mainland as well as free zone companies. A qualified free zone can continue to be qualified for zero percent corporate tax if it meet transfer pricing regulations and documentation they have to do they have to do documentation for their transaction with their related parties they have to do transaction at arm length price okay full fledged transfer pricing regulation will applicable five method they have given for the benchmarking six method available where none of the method are, methods could be used to drive what are the five methods uh, like there is a uh, Five methods mentioned in the transfer pricing that we can discuss in any upcoming videos. Okay, so choice of the method depends on the contractual term, character sketch, economic circumstances, far analysis, business strategy. Once you watch my old video on my channel, then you will understand uh, so many things about transfer pricing. The most appropriate method, best suitable concept to use rather than the most preferred method. Corresponding adjustment concept if in the foreign tax jurisdiction, foreign country, any foreign tax authority did any adjustment that we can adjust in our UAE income as well. The concept of associated enterprise is sub summed by related parties with the holding of 50%. In India, we are generally we use 26%. If any company we are holding 50% share, that will be called associated enterprises and in such, if we have the associated enterprises, we have to do transfer pricing. Okay. Transfer pricing documentation provisions provide in within 30 days period provided for submission to the tax authorities when called for 
concept of master file local file brought master file group company had to make master file and local branches local subsidies has to make local files okay a threshold to be declared we are hoping they will declare some thresholds for this transfer pricing the provision for the transfer pricing disclosure form has been brought like in india form 3 3 ceb we use for transfer pricing certificate it's interesting to note cross border transaction as per article 66 provision of international agreement will prevail obviously uh, international agreements going to be prevail over ue vat law if we are getting more benefit under international agreement then we will use that otherwise corporate tax rule is there international agreement will prevail uh, okay to the extent the terms of an international agreement that in the force in the state are inconsistent with the provision of the decree law the terms of international agreement shall prevail will the ue corporate tax regime tax large multinational at a global minimum tax that is 15% right now as you know ue is the member of oecd beps inclusive framework and is committed to addressing the challenge faced by the tax jurisdiction internationally as such the introduction of a corporate tax regime helps to provide ue with the framework to adopt the pillar 2 rules for the large large companies who have the turnover more than 750 million euro there is global minimum tax rate that is 15% every big companies who have the turnover more than 750 million euro they have to pay 15% corporate tax okay right now in in the ue corporate tax nothing is mentioned about such kind of 15% corporate tax global minimum tax but we hope in the coming Uh, cabinet decision or any other uh, amendment we will see for the such kind of uh, large company they will issue global minimum tax rate 15% but right now as they have not said nothing about this we have to follow 9% corporate tax rate for them losses and regrouping at in what condition we can do regroup we can create a group uh, tax group and uh, uh, how much losses we can carry forward business will be allowed to offset losses of one period as against taxable income of the future period however maximum 75% of taxable income maximum losses can which can be set off will be capped at 70 cap cap to 75% of taxable income losses can be allowed to be carry for indefinitely not like india for 8 years but here they are giving like indefinitely you can carry forward group companies group tax tax group we can create only if we are the holding 95% share uh, in other another company uh, group companies will be allowed to transfer losses from one group to another group another profitable group if we are holding at least 75% common shareholder are there restructuring and reorganization will be at a tax neutral like many countries do that corporate tax compliance any person subject corporate tax will need to register for fta and obtain tax registration this is to be applied for and obtain separately for existing vat registration deregistration we have to do if there is a business closure and we are not doing any business activity audited financial statement can be a need to be issue need to be done for some such cat- categories of taxable person uh cabinet decision we are waiting for that tax man shall maintain all records and documents for 7 years exempt person shall also maintain uh, for 7 years all the documents tax procedure law referred to in the preamble and decision issued in the implementation of the its provision shall determine the relevant penalties and fines conclusion we this is the my conclusion while the intent is to keep compliance compliance simple and provide relief to small businesses some of the provisions if implemented as it is domestic transferring pe determination permanent establishment could be more cumbersome and prone to the litigation it is very positive that minimum adjustment between book and net profit they have to talk about however there should be a basic consistency in either adoption of accounting policy and certification requirement to ensure that tax payer who are internationally not availing undue benefit by frequently changing accounting policy with an objective to report lower profit on regular basis 
like some company can uh, do changes in their accounting policy to take the benefit of uh, uh, taking uh, some claiming more losses in their profit loss account so that they don't pay uh, taxes they can do that through ch- claiming large depreciation and other such kind of expenditure since freeze and pers- free zone person can avail 0% corporate tax there will be a cons- cons- concise reorganization of the businesses to divide their business and organize in a manner where such benefit could be availed the law has not provided further clarity on condition to avail such benefit and it would be mentioned in the implementing regulation of the law the law introduces gar general anti abuse rules and mandate the principal purpose test for the transaction where any transaction should not be conducted with only tax advantage as a motive if that is the case those transaction could be adjusted and recharacterized by the tax authority further even for the transaction period transition period from the time of law becoming published and it till it become effective the gar provision will be applied if any tax or person has tried to alter his transaction or business model during this period to obtain only tax benefit only needs to be one needs to be careful of this aspect most of the provisions of the law are identical to the public consultation document and important details are still awaited in the implementing regulations only we are waiting for we are waiting for the implementing cabinet decision regulations so that we can uh, we can follow this cabinet corporate tax properly uh, here we comes to the end of the video this was the overview of corporate tax uh, federal decree number 47 this recently government issued i hope uh, Uh, i covered all the points in this video i try to explain in a layman language so that everyone can understand this uh, i hope uh, inshallah if uh, cabinet decision going to be issued then uh, we will make such videos on that also and we will share with all you peoples if you need this ppd you can uh, ask me in this my whatsapp number i will share you this ppd so that you can take prints and you can read out okay this is the law this is a tax okay this is not a simple going to be simple this is not going to be a uh, like uh, enjoyment and learning this is a tax we have to understand in its in its preamble in its motive tax and we have to learn this i hope uh, you people likes my videos please like friends like share and subscribe my channels i am looking for more and more subscribers from your end you people are giving us lots of love like we cross 33 33000 views on our channel but subscribers are around only 1600 friends we are looking for more and more subscriber from your end thank you very much thank you